continuing with a story about me becoming the richest person in the world, let's take the show Shark Tank. Millionaires. I don't think one of them is a billionaire. Well, yeah, maybe one of them is a billionaire. But at least they're all multi-millionaires. And what's this show all about? Well, I'll tell you what it's all about and what people don't realize what it's all about. Those rich people, the stars of Shark Tank, made all their wealth in one area. And they know that that area they made their money in could disappear one day. Because they're tied into one area. So they have Shark Tank, and it's entertainment for people. But what people don't realize is the sharks are looking desperately for new investments that are going to take off and continue their wealth. Well, maybe they'll find it, but maybe they won't. Because a lot of great ideas that are going to explode in the future the people may not even come to Shark Tank for money. They'll just do it on their own or find another way to raise money. So anyways, that's what the show is all about. These sharks know that they're tied to, their wealth is tied to one industry or one business or one product. And they run the risk of that one business, industry, or product going away one day. And they don't want it to go away, so they are looking to invest in someone else's idea, hoping to keep their wealth going. See, they're tied, like most millionaires, billionaires, they're tied to one or two products that produce it. It's like uh, uh, someone in the past saying, I made my money in buggy whips. Anyone who wants to buy a buggy whip has to buy it from me. Or, in the past, someone says, I've got the patent on the telegraph machine. Anyone who wants to send a message on the telegraph machine has to pay me a royalty. The telegraph machine has made me wealthy. So they're all stuck with one product or two products that made them wealthy. Where the difference between me and them is, I created money out of thin air. <laughs>